Hey, Mariners fans, Michael Keeley here with Mariners forward Dylan Fox, one of the first five Mariners for the 2019-20 roster. And Dylan, you had an interesting uh, season last year in that you didn't join the Mariners until January, but you ended up third on the team in goals. It was really your first full shot at this level, at the ECHL level. How was the experience for you getting an extended look here? Uh, it was awesome. Uh, obviously, you know, last season I kind of got a little bit of a chance, but uh, as soon as I came here, I kind of could see things are a little bit different. And, uh, you know, Riley and the coaching staff, you know, gave me all the confidence I needed to kind of know that I, you know, could produce. So, uh, yeah, it was a pretty special ending for me, for sure. Now, last season you started in camp with Reading. Of course, you were cut and had to go back to the SPHL to start the year. You're, it's probably safe to say your spot's a little more solidified going into this year, but does that motivate you a little more to, to try to go a little harder and, and make sure you cement your spot with this team? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, I it, you know I kind of felt like I, I was good in Reading last year, and uh, you know it didn't work out. So yeah, I think I think I'm a little bit I, I don't want to say comfortable, but obviously a little bit more familiar with everything here, uh, having played a lot more. So. Uh, but yeah, like I'm not taking anything for granted, obviously, because I've been through it a couple times, and uh, you know the, the success I had last year doesn't mean anything if I don't do it again this year, for sure. It seemed like once you got that first goal, the floodgates just opened. It took you, the, you know, five or six games to get the first goal, and then it was boom, and you were one of the more consistent scorers on the team. Um, you know, what was it that gave you so much confidence um, as you went through the second half of last year? Um, I think it was just obviously or honestly the coaching staff um they kind of put me in every position to uh to succeed and uh i, I got you know kind of got hot there for a little bit and you know when when you feel like that it's pretty easy to play um but i think i owe a lot to them just uh kind of put me in a position to you know succeed uh you know some guys you know might kill penalties or do other things uh and i and i feel like uh you know i, I that's the game i like to play where you know putting the puck in the net and making things happen. So, you know, they put me in that situation and, uh, you know, I'm just grateful that it, it worked out. You've been living in Portland in the off season. How's that been? Uh, it's great. The, uh, this, this summer, or I mean, in the winter, you, it, it's, it's a cool town, but, mm -hmm. uh, I think in the summer you really get a good feel for it. Any favorite spots you found? Um, um, yeah, sorry. The, I think, uh, just some spots on the water that you weren't able to go to, uh, during the winter, uh, Portland Lobster Company. We've been to the porthole a couple times. Uh, we we were, went to Flatbread actually, all of us uh, last week. So yeah, just some places that you you don't really get to experience in the winter. So if you see Dylan around town, say hi, and you'll look forward to seeing him back on the ice in October. Thanks for the time, Dylan, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, thanks for having me.